And you got to go with the one here. Maggie's delight on the rail. She has great gate speed as well. Corey's having a good night, trained by Michelle Myers. She shares ownership with Roger McDonald. Again, uh, if you look down her lines, real good gate speed. Last time out, just got collared late, 59-1 in the slop uh, on the front end. Prior to that, sitting in the two-hole was a good second to Lady Divine. Race timed in 56 and one. She should get a real good trip up close to the lead as well uh, in here. I think uh, Maggie Slate could be part of this ticket at seven to one. Countdown clock ticking away here in race 10. The starters are lining up in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. Let's go back upstairs to track announcer Vance Cameron for the call. Maggie's Delight, Ms. Boy's Thinking of You, Babe, Ace 44 Dome, Harlequin Romance, Sigali, Silly Amos and Lady Divine, top of the stretch. Now uh, approaching a start. The rough and pacing Ace 44 Dome leaves out on the rail. That's Maggie's delight. Between horses, Miss Moist third to the turn to get away fourth. That's thinking of you, babe. Sigali up on the outside fifth. Harlegan Romance is sixth. Then racing from seven to Silly Amos and the trailer, Lady Divine. Straight alignment as they go to the opening quarter. Ace 44 Dome and the Blue Knight. Jason Hughes, the quarter pole leading. Two-hole ride belongs to Maggie's Delight. Turn up the rail. That is Ms. Moyes. Oh, and they sit up. 27, 2, boom! Just like that, the fired-up leader, Ace 44 Dome. In the two-hole, Maggie's Delight. Turn up the rail. Ms. Moyes, fourth. That is Sigali going to the outside. Fifth is thinking of you, babe. Harlegan Romance will follow her out. Six, moving up seventh, Lady Divine. Now the driller. That is Silly Amos halfway home in that tenth. And it's Ace 44 Dome in 57 and one. Racing from second, Maggie's Delight on the outside. First up. Thinking of you, babe, third. Fourth up the rail, that's Ms. Moist on the outside, fifth. That's Harlequin Romance, third over six, Lady Divine. Sigali goes back to seventh, and then the trailer. That is Shelly Amos, they arrive at three quarters. Ace 44 Dome, under wraps on the front end. Maggie's Delight, between horses, thinking of you, babe. Harlequin Romance presses her luck, three wide, fourth. Three quarters in one, 26 and three. Homeward bound, Ace 44 Dome. Maggie's delight to the outside. Ms. Moise up the rail coming late, but it's Ace 44 Dome. will double up the Blue Knight use. Maggie's delight second. Ms. Moise third. One, 55, two. This mare sent off the board as a chalk favorite. She did not disappoint her backers here as she gets it done on the front end. Big quarter, 27 and two, ace 44 dome. And Hughes leading it uh, up to the half, 57 and one, 126 and three. Hughes, as Vance mentioned, uh, under wraps around the last turn and then he kicked the plugs at the top of the stretch and let her have it down the lane and uh, fed her racetrack and she gobbled it up. Big trip here tonight, 155 and two is the uh, win time for Ace 44 Dome as she drops and pops in the 10th.
Here comes Ace 44 Dome to the 10th race winner's circle. Bay Pacing Mare 7 by off the credit. Off the Island Fantasy Dam, Galen Fantasy. Owned by Donald McCray of Vernon Bridge. Bred by Colin Densley from Burroughs, Ontario. Trained by Ashley Gamester. And the Blue Knight, Jason New, second winner on the night for the double. The Mare just picked up her 35th lifetime victory. The mile 155 and 2. Ace 44 Dome in the 10th. 